Hey, good afternoon, everybody. Ken Sagenberg. Um, haven't done a lot of training on my website and done uh, any updates on this uh, website that we've been creating uh, the past couple days. I had some computer issues, but now they're straight. Now I want to get into back into showing you a few things. You know, we started a couple weeks ago and we created the About Me page, and we also created our privacy policy. You know, two things that we put together, and you know, to me they look pretty good. Uh, you can review it. Um, like I said, down the link below, I can uh, you can go right to the pages and you can look and see what's in there. Copy and paste it. Feel free to make the changes you need to. You know, like you're going to need to change. Uh, you know, mine says you know, com, which is maybe my website. You're going to have to put in your website. You know, there's a few places there you're going to have to change things like that. Um, and actually, you can take a look at the About Me page. This is my creation. You can do whatever you want with it. Obviously, it's been eh, quite a while. It's been over a month since we've actually done any work with this page. And again, my apologies for that. And uh, you know, I slacked off not only because I had computer issues, but uh, I wanted to make sure that I was getting giving you the right information. So, you know, when you first open up your WordPress website or your WordPress um, page here in the Wealthy Affiliate, you're going to see a lot of different themes, a lot of different ways of doing things. Right now, I'm using this theme here, and people ask me, you know, how do I change this part here where it says just another WordPress website? You know, they get confused. They're like, oh my God, that seems stupid. How do I change that? You know, that's pretty simple. I'm going to show you how to do that today. I'm also going to show you how to change the background color. Two things that people like to do they like to put different pictures or change colors in the background, put, put something that's more appealing to their to their visitors. Um, I don't suggest putting pictures in the background um, in a tile format because it becomes kind of distracting. I've seen a lot of websites out there. It just, it just to me, it just seems kind of really distracting. When people are trying to look at something or review something and you've got, you know, a bunch of tiles and say, uh, you know, a little people in the background, it, it kind of, it, it just takes away from the website. I suggest sticking with just a solid color making it plain and simple. Let's get into the training today. Today we're going to talk about, so we want to change this, uh, just another website, or just another WordPress site. What you got to do is, go, when you're in here, go into your customization, into customize. Just click on that real quick, and it's going to bring you to this, set, this section here. This section here, you can do a lot with your website. This is actually going to change the look of your website. You got everything from your basic settings, to adding in social media, colors, which we're going to get to in a couple minutes. Um, if you want to put an image on your header or you put an image in your background, and then it also has all the stuff for your menus and your widgets. Stuff that we're going to get into at, at later date training. But what we're talking about is this under here, which is actually the site identity. If you open this up, you change the title if you want. I don't recommend changing that. I recommend keeping that the name of the website. If it's your website, in this case, KenSagendorf.com, is the name of the website. I'm leaving it up there because this way here, people know that they're in the right place. And under here, which is just another website, is where we're getting just another WordPress website. We can change that to wherever you want. Or you can just plain eliminate it. Whatever you want to do. See how I did that? I eliminated it. It's gone. It's no longer there. What do I want to put in here? This is going to be totally up to you. Um... I'm going to throw something in here and say, you know, um, I don't know, uh, home business affiliate. Because I am an affiliate with affiliate incomes, I also, it's slash promoter, because I promote Lavelle Thrive. So I'll put and promote, or I put slash, I put affiliate and promoter. How's that? <clears throat> so, I'm a home business affiliate and promoter. That actually gives me a title. So, when people look at this website, they're like, okay, who is this Ken Savage? Well, he's a home business affiliate and promoter. Or I can change this to go, uh, how about do this too? I can also go online affiliate and promoter. This way here, it gives people the idea of everything I sell online, I'm an affiliate and a promoter of this, so Pretty much everything you're going to see in this website 
is either going to have some kind of link to a promotion or an affiliate program, that kind of thing. So I'm going to leave it like that for now. Um, I might want to change that later. I honestly don't know. When you're done with that, just hit the save. Save and publish. Okay, it's that simple. Now when I look at the website, this is what I come up with. The About Me page, which we've talked about. The Privacy College, which, again, we've talked about. If I go to the home page, what I just typed up stays right there. So it's always right there. So that's, that's kind of a good thing. If you want to give yourself or your website a little bit more personality. Other thing we talked about was the background. Again, we go back into the Customize. And under Colors, you get different things. This will change the, your header, your header text, and your background color. Okay? Let me just I can show you something else, too. Just in case you want to put image in your background instead. Where it says Background Image, you can select an image from your computer. If there's something you want, something you like. It, honestly, like I said, I don't like putting a lot of pictures in my background, but if you want to, that's your decision. That's totally up to you. What I want to do, because it is October and it is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, you know, what the heck, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change my background to pink. Why not? So, my background color, let's just make it some kind of shade of pink. How's that? All I'll get to do is save it public. It's that simple. I just changed the background to my website. If I go into my About Me page, there you go. It's pink. It's it's kind of it just. I just did that. I mean, you can you can put any color you want on it. I mean, that's the totally up to you. Like I said, it, it just this is something that if you want to give it a little bit more personality, I don't recommend going with colors that are really bright, like getting like a really bright yellow or some kind of fluorescent color in the background because what's going to happen is it's going to hurt people's eyes when they're trying to read your content. Uh, I recommend, you know, a white background with the black lettering like a lot of you'll see or vice versa right here where I have my name. You know, black background with the white lettering, that's good too. And and I just threw this up here with the pink and with the black lettering. I never tried it and, you know, funny, it kind of actually looks pretty good. Um, but that's uh, pretty much how you do that. A little bit of customization, make your website, kind of give it a little bit more personality, try to help you connect with your, uh, your visitors a little bit more. So again, my name is Ken Sagner from Wealthy Affiliate. I'll be back uh, the next couple days. I'll give you some more training. Play around with that a little bit. See how it works for you and see if it does anything for you. Okay, have yourself a great day.